a cubed to the fourth. To simplify this, we multiply these two exponents, the 3 and the 4, and we end up with a to the power of 12. That's our answer. Again, as before, you can see why this is the case if you expand it out. But first, I'll state the rule. The rule is this. When you're taking an exponent and raising it to a power, in other words, one exponent and raised to another exponent, or one power raised to another power, the rule is you simply multiply the exponents. The 3 and the 4 multiply to give you a 12. And here's why. a cubed to the fourth. Well, what does a cubed mean? That means a times a times a. That's a cubed. a multiplied by itself three times. Well, what we have is a cubed to the fourth. And what does to the fourth mean? That means we multiply something by itself, and there's a total of four of those things. So what do we have multiplied together four times? We have a cubed multiplied together four times. In other words, I have four of these. So I have a times 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 a. So you see I have an a cubed, a cubed, a cubed, and a cubed, all multiplied together. Four of these things multiplied together. And you can see that there are a total of 12 a's there multiplied together. So I have a to the 12th for my answer. That same concept could be applied with any base. I could have x to the 5 raised to the power of 10. That would be x to the 50th. Or you don't even have to have a variable. Anything there would work. I could have 2 to the power of 6, all raised to the power of 3. That would equal 2 to the power of 18th, which could be evaluated. That would actually just be a number. But writing it this way shows what we've done with the exponents. 6 times 3 gave me my 18. So again, the rule is when you're Raising an exponent to another exponent, you simply multiply the exponents.